2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And you can feel the anticipation building with the introduction of each player. Stick around. We'll be right back with playoff basketball. For these two teams, two rounds down, two to go. The battle for the Eastern Conference continues. Game one of the conference finals. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside. David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Thanks very much. Well, Commissioner Adam Silver has a history lesson for those who would tell players to shut up and dribble. He says, in 1963, Bill Russell was MVP, won a title, and stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial for Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. There is a through line that exists directly from Russell to our modern players. Kevin? That's a great story, D.A., thanks. Taking a look at New York, it was a long, grueling series for them, Greg, in the conference semifinals. Will that impact, though, their energy level tonight? Well, I mean, there's enough time between games and the playoffs, and that shouldn't be any excuse. On their home court, they were a better team throughout the regular season. Now it's time to go out and show. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Abdul Jabbar is out there with Adetokounmpo. Then there's Robertson. Then it's Damian Lillard, and it's Moncrief in at the two-guard spot. And for New York, Garnett out there with King. Then there's Ewell. Then there's Frazier. And it's Guerin in at the two. So the Bucks win the tip. So the first quarter now underway as we begin the Eastern Conference Finals. Lillard fires away from way outside. That's good. And Robertson with the assist. And part of what makes Dame special, he can pour it in working off the ball. Rare to see a point guard who finds points without the rock in their hands. Frazier against Robertson. Here's Garnett. And he uses the glass on the way. Well, at his age, for Kevin Garnett, it's about the passion and toughness allowing him to be successful. That's to my brief. Vicious to Giannis. Lillard from outside. The Bucks getting another chance here. It's up a three. That one's a miss. His third shot of the game. He's made one of them. Here's King. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Frazier kicks to Garnett. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First it's going to go on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Shoots the ball as well as any big. Very versatile out on the floor. Garnett draws a lot of contact here. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And that passion that Garnett plays with is really infectious. He's always talking and trying to get himself and his guys going. Milwaukee's gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Robertson passes to Lillard. Garnett with the block. KG has always had tremendous instincts, sends another one back the way it came. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Passes it to Monk. Five on the clock. Here's onto Takumbo. Well, there's the 2008 Defensive Player of the Year. KG's been frustrating shooters for a long, long time. Robertson against Frazier. Here's Ewing. A rebound by the Bucks. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Oh, goodness. They say that one. I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. 
It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. King and John, covered by Lillard. Here's Frazier, hands it from downtown. And they don't want to get in the habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter steal, but not if you want to leave open. And that one's good by Yas. And I really marvel at the touch of Antetokounmpo for his size and physique. That's incredible. Frazier against Robertson. Garnett and the three off target for Milwaukee they've gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter Abdul Jabbar on the wing Robertson outside and Lillard gets to Giannis a shot by Lillard wide open and it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in and I tell you, Antetokounmpo has evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. Milwaukee in the lead. How about this one? Thank you, on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing. Really keeping things simple. It's his first trip to the line. And he makes the first. Two shots. Both free throws, good for Giannis. Here is Frazier. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. That's to Garen. To the left side wing. King against Wheeler. Shot clock at five. New York needs to get off a shot. Garen. They get it back. Garnett the pass to King. Garnett kicks to Frazier. Lock at six. Tries again. The pass to Garen. And here's Frazier. King outside. Shoots over Lillard. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Boy, nice shot. He didn't need the fadeaway to create separate. To Lillard. Too long in the paint. He's hit with a three second violation. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And he shows the focus there. Nails the technical. And known for being a clutch performer, Dame has his sights set on tight. A, a true leader with a winning mindset. Beyond the arc. That's good. And Robertson with the assist. Robertson's got three assists in the game. Knicks trail by six. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. King, the pass to Frazier. Lillard against King. Over Lillard. King, that's good. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Passes to Mike. Lillard from outside. Garnett grabs the ball. Garnett's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Three-pointer, Lillard. And it's Lillard again missing. New York's gone just 104 from three-point range here in the first. Frazier the pass to Garen. Kick out to King. On the wing, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. King's got six. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Abdul Jabbar against Hewitt. Here's the lob to Luther. Shot clock at six. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Here's Garen. Moncrief defending. Pass to Garen. 
It's over Moncrief. And that one's good, Garrett. And they are earning points with the jump shot now. 15. Robertson outside. It's Moncrief on the wing. Let's it go from deep. That's in coming off the assist from Robertson. Three points. Robertson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Garen, outside Ewing. King outside. Shoots over Lillard. Rebound, Milwaukee. On to the Kumbos. Got four rebounds now tonight. Frazier against Robertson. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. Yet gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejection. Wow. And well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Hades checked in for New York. Richardson comes in for Frazier. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Johnson, he's checked in for Lillard. And here's Richardson. And there's the pass to Garen. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First personal foul. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Milwaukee. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. And the first one at the line is good. DeBush here, he's checked in for Patrick Ewing. And then for Milwaukee, Javi Portis is checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Chris Wilson comes in for Atatakumba. And Allen sub in for Moncrief. And that's going up for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. It's a three-point game. Allen outside. Robertson against Richardson. Middleton can't get it to go. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chipping. Richardson outside. Here's Houston. Over Allen. Houston shots good. He is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open. For Milwaukee, they've gone 7 of 15 for the field at this point. And out of bounds is the next game possession. New York's gone just 1 of 4 from 3-point range here in the first. Richardson the pass to King. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. King's got eight points. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Robertson. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Two points, that one goes. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Richardson against Robertson, got a piece of it, and they're able to recover, and the shot is good. 
The Knicks with the lead. To the right side. Johnson against King. Fader on the way. Here's Reed. Nails the baby hook. And the Knicks lead by three. And it's about the Knicks one team. And that's what Reed gives you. He can be the heart, the soul, and the backbone of your team. And Portis throws it down. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Kick out to King. Over Robertson. Kept alive by New York. King, the pass to Houston. Back to King. Six to shoot. There's the drive. The rebound by Middleton. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They trail by one. A pass to DeBush. One fifty-one left in the first. Reed misses. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Middleton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. A determined shooter who excels at the charity strike. Middleton will gladly head to the line. Vinick shooting 45% for the fielder. Robertson against Richardson. Passes it to Houston. Back to Richardson. King against Johnson. Just five to shoot. Changes up. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Pass to him. The busher against Middleton. He's now one for two with that bucket. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've got here tonight. Richards in the pass to Houston. Over Allen. Reed kicks to DeBusher. Here's King. And no good that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The shot by Johnson, no good. But well, you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Kicks it out to Richardson. Over Middleton. The rebound by Middleton. Here's Allen. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And the Bucks lead by three. Has the pure athleticism. Allen gets it done inside. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one so far. Bucks lead by three. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. the action here in the Eastern Conference Finals. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Playing inside out in that first quarter led to some high percentage shots in the paint. It is great when you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game. Knicks trail by three. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. We've got Johnson. Under to Kumba, out there with Abdul Jabbar. Then it's Moncrief, and it's Lillard in at the point guard. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on Kareem Abdul Jabbar. The Knicks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. At the line, two shots.
good from Ewing. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Bucks shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. And Moncrief gets it to go. That's their third straight make yeah, off an assist. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. The pass to Debushi. Ewing inside. Working on Abdul-Jabbar. And that's rejected by Abdul-Jabbar. Here's Ewing. It's rebounded by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's got his fourth rebound in this one. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. And big men aren't supposed to move that well in the open floor. Uh, that's a big reason Giannis earned the name the Freak. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here on free throw coming up. Pretty dime Defense there, the kind of ball movement coaches love to see. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Personal. Second team foul. Richie Guerin at the line. One shot. play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Johnson outside. Moncrief Bell Sid with it. He has five. Outside Abdul Jabbar. Six on the shot clock. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for it. And Ewing has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. It's a three-point game. And Garnett misses. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. It's stolen by Garnett. And a fast break now for New York. New York moving the ball around. DeBusher passes to Frazier. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? Milwaukee making a switch here. Crowder's checked in. Bucks leading by three. Down low, here's Abdul Jabbar. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. Here's Frazier driving in, and the rejection by Adekumbo. New York five, Dan Fisher, second personal foul, first team foul. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Lillard looking around. Shot clock at six. From deep. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Frazier outside. Over Lillard. And the shot is good. The Bucks lead has been cut down now to just three on the basket from Frazier. So it hit works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And the layup is good. Frazier's got four points this quarter. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. It's stolen by Frazier. Here's Ewing. And that's rejected by Abdul-Jabbar. Outside, out of the Kumbo. He dishes it to Crowder. Pass to Moncrief. Over in the corner, Lillard. Traps in the tray. Lillard's got 14. That's his first triple of the second period. Third of the game. 
Here's Frazier. Passes it to Garrett. Over to the wing. Four on the shot clock. They grab their own miss. Garnett. He makes that one drop only a second and five drops. And hey guys, you can't let an exceptional rebounder like Garnett get that kind of position. That's how he finds those second chance points. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. Pass to Ewing. Here is Frazier. Garnett, right side. And it's slammed in by Garnett. Rising defenders for over two decades now. Garnett, yeah, he can still do this. Milwaukee has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter. So a solo fast break jumps up and it's slammed in by Garnett. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. The Bucks have gone four of six from the field here in the second. Moncrief kicks to Crowder. Miller against Frazier. Floats one up. Second chain shot. And Ewing sends it back. Crowder against DeBusher. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot at him. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Knicks. How about the ferocity we have seen from them on defense? I mean, they're looking to contest every shot that goes up. Another thing they're doing right out of the gates tonight, applying a ton of defensive pressure. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Yeah, I think Coach calls his timeout right now because he's not happy with the distribution of shots. Difficult shots, contested shots, you've got to get a better offensive rhythm. They need this. And it's Lillard again missing. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. And Garnett misses. Bucks trail by four. It's Crowder on the way. He's covered by DeBusch. Crowder gets to Lillard. To the middle. Here's F. Moore to bar. Dame as a score first, but they're reminding us of his great ability to pass the rock. Garnett against Giannis. Garnett the pass to Garen. Sinks the triple. Garen's got six points in the quarter. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Inside, and the dunk by Abdul Jabbar. And not much you can do defensively once Kareem gets the ball in that close. Too much height, too much talent. Up top, Frazier. Offered by Lillard. Here's the three. And the call will be against Kevin Garnett. That's his third foul of the game. Reed is checked in for the Knicks. Hey, Allen is checked in for the Bucks. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Giannis against Garnett. And Abdul Jabbar can't get it to go. New York leading by three to the paint. Tipped away. And it's stolen by Moncrief. Pass to Allen. Here's the lob into the Kumbo. And the slam dunk by Allen to Kumbo. And if you're looking to make a big play with the pass, you've got to love Giannis. He's a big target on those alley-oop lobs. Read the pass to Garen. Over Abdul Jabbar. He claims that one off the back line and down it goes. Garen's got 12 in the game. Knocked away. It's stolen by Frazier. 
Garen passes to Garnett, and it's slammed in by Garnett. He's in such a good rhythm offensively tonight. KG turning back the clock. Timeout called the Bucks. And a wise move to call timeout there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They, they've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover numbers. Here comes your Nick City Actors, everyone. Get loud for them. some changes. Portis, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Chris Milton comes in for Crowder, and it's Robertson in for Moncrief. Now Robertson, he's still scoreless so far in this one. King with the block, and they'll keep possession. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Richardson against Robertson. Pass to DeBush. Back to Richardson. Over Robertson. Offensive rebound. Here's Reed. And the dunk by Reed. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Pass to Robertson. The three. Good on the triple. And generally, Robertson's a guy that likes to play free throw line and below, but here's a time where he steps out and launches from beyond. Richardson outside. Rebounded by the Bucks. Abdul Jabbar's got seven rebounds in the game. Nobody near Allen. And another three for Milwaukee. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. King outside. Over Middleton. King, that's good. King's got 14 points. Yeah, this is what King can do. Go through these stretches where he's just impossible to cool off. Very few guys are as capable of games like this. Houston can't get it to go. The Bucks trail. To the inside. Middleton. That one a little long. Defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Now the pass to Robertson. Back to Middleton. Six to shoot. Allen kicks to Middleton. Fades. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. Pass to the push. Middleton against King. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Middleton, what I like about King, he doesn't try to get flashy or fancy. He only cares about being effective. And he goes out there and just takes care of business. And in the end, the points just pile up. The first one falls. Johnson, he's checked in for Bobby Porks. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Milwaukee's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. And stolen by Richardson. King outside. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. How about the athletic ability on display there by King? He gets all the way to the bucket and takes no chance on the finish. Bucks trail by three. Johnson outside. Back to Robertson. Shot from the wing. 
Here's Abdul Jabbar, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Abdul Jabbar's got 12 in the game. Richardson with it, now guarded by Middleton. Richardson against Middleton on the corner. And there's another one for the Knicks. And since the first quarter, we've seen them ease off on that long-range affair. And frankly, that's probably a good idea. And stolen by Richardson. And a fast break now for the Knicks. King, that's good. King's got the lead up to five now for New York. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Robertson's shot is good. Robertson. They're relying on their three-point three shooting and getting pretty good results. Here's King, and he banks in the way. King's got ten points now, just in this quarter. He has the complete game in the paint. King can get plenty of points on the perimeter as well, but inside, that's where he butters his bread. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Knicks up four. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much with Mike Budenholzer. Coach, what's your message going into the second half to your team? Yeah, we just got to play better. We got to play better defense. We got to take care of the ball on the other end. We just got to play better basketball. And you're certainly capable of it, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. For the Knicks, they've hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Knicks. Well, their success was largely about second chance points. They crashed the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. The three-point shot is really, really down the mind. I don't always like to see teams rely on the three. But when it's dropping like that, I say roll with it. They keep setting good screens. Run these pick and rolls, they'll be tough to beat. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And it's Frazier with the ball for the New York Knicks. They lead by four. They've got Frazier. Ewing is out there with Garnett. Then it's King. And it's Guerin in at the shooting guard position. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Abdul Jabbar with the steal. Loads it up for Giannis. And now Ewing pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Bucks trail by six. Now here is Munford. And it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And that block was something. It's the playoffs in every possession and defensive stop matter. Take a second look to admire that outstanding block. 
And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Here's King, the kick out to Frazier. For the three, gets it to go from beyond the arc. Frazier's got 10 points. Such a reliable threat from range. You think the defense might key on him a little bit more. 62. Frazier against Robertson. And Blue Jabal. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. It's on Patrick Ewers. And you're talking about one of the most decorated superstars in the history of college basketball. But maybe the most impressive feat. He won three national championships. And Kareem has a way of affecting winning. That one is off. And he sinks the second. 90 seconds now into the second half. To the paint. To the middle. Ewing inside. Abdul Jabbar covering. That one falls. About the muscle inside from Ewing. Easily getting to wherever he wants to on that low block. Robertson outside. Moncrief going net with the block and they recover it inside in the slam dunk pass to Kumbo and that's a huge play I mean they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game mm -hmm, probably so that's usually a crucial element to any Kumbo this is it to Garrett over Moncrief and the Knicks good for two they're lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. He's doing everything he can to put this game to bed. And great score there to help his team. Robertson passes to Lillard. Moncrief dishes to Abdul-Jabbar. The box working the ball around. Pocket six. He kicks to Moncrief. Three-pointer, Lillard. Knicks with the rebound. Ewing's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's King, and he drives in. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. He takes a foul charge to... This is his third free throw attempt of the game. That's his first personal. First team foul. Bernard King at the line. On the free throw, no good. Bucks trail by 10. Here's Robertson. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Robertson's got eight points. And the painted area is where Robertson can destroy you. He's just too strong and too skilled. Loads it up for Giannis. Handles the alley through. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Here's Frazier. Onto the Kumbo, pulls it in. Onto the Kumbo has got double digit rebounds now in the game. Lillard. Good. Nice job down low. Now, just a four point Knicks lead. No excuse giving Lillard that kind of positioning. That, that's just too easy. Frazier scanning the floor. Pass to Garen. Back to Frazier. Now here's King. Covered by Lillard. King against Lillard. Goes up the baseline. And the Knicks miss again. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. The Knicks leading by four. There's the pass to Garen. Now here's King. Frazier the pass to King. Shoots over Moncrief. 
Hits the target from 18 feet. King's got 28. And Milwaukee has possession. Timeout called the Bucks. Bucks called timeout. For your next setting answer. against Garnett. Giannis kicks to Moncrief. Pass to Giannis. Six on the shot clock. And to Lillard from outside the arc. Linux pull it in. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. King, the pass to Frazier. Back to King. Shoots over Lillard. Giannis grabs the miss. Under the Kumbo's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. And the dunk by Abdul Jabbar. Unstoppable tonight, as he is most nice. Jabbar has all the offensive tools, but he also keeps to a strict fitness regimen that allows him to wear people down. Back to Frazier. Giannis against Garnett. Some solid defense from Kumbo. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Frazier against Robertson. Passes it to King. From the baseline, no good on the shot, and Milwaukee the other way now. It's stolen by Garnett. Giannis against King. There's the dish to Frazier. Feeds to Garnett, and it's slammed in by Garnett. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you if you're that careful. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. Boy, in a tight game like this, that can change the whole tone. It helps your opponent get into a little bit of a rhythm. Let's it go from 11. Here's Abdul Jabbar, and that one good. Abdul Jabbar's got five points now in the quarter. And don't let the lean physique fool you. Kareem with the strength to finish through contact as well as anybody who's ever played. Frazier outside. Garen passes to Ewing. Shot clock at six. King outside. Over Lillard. And it comes off the front of the rim. On offense here with the Bucks. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Giannis kicks to Moncrief. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Out to Moncrief. And that comes off the assist by Abdul Jabbar. Three points. Moncrief's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Bucks. And the pass to King. New York moving the ball around. Frazier the pass to Garen. Ewing left side. Baseline try. Abdul Jabbar grabs the miss. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Excellent D there from Garnett. New York trailing. Releases. And that one's good, Garen. Garen's got 16. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Here's the lob at the combo, and Ewing sends it back. Abdul Jabal dishes to Robertson. Count it. 14 points for Giannis out of the combo. 
And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. A shot by Frazier, no good. Milwaukee's gone into the three-point range four times in halftime and buried two of them. And a terrific offensive display here from Giannis, just reminding us of how dominant he can be. Frazier against Robertson. They get it back. Garnett. Good D by Giannis. Milwaukee leading by four. Miller, the pass to Mike. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. Yeah, and consistency is the name of the game for Moncrief. Anytime you play him, you're in for a night of all-around basketball. And the Bucks with some changes. Chris Middleton's checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Johnson comes in for Lillard. And Allen's up in for Robertson. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Rejection by Giannis. Shoots from 14. It's rebounded by New York. Reed's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Just a cold shooting guy. Needs to try to make it into the basket. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. First and a chance for close to second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Guys, they've done everything they can in this one to just dominate that backboard offensively and keeping control of the ball and then converting. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Frazier kicks to Richardson. Six to shoot. Frazier dishes to the Bushel. Chalk up two there. The Bushel's got six points. You know, he's been giving them points, but they still can't seem to get over the hump tonight. Pass to Moncrief. Reed against out of the Kumbo. That shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Not loose. Here's Allen. Offensive rebound. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Richardson. And you see Middleton on the perimeter a lot, but he's really been trying to add strength to that 6'8 frame so he can mix it up a little more inside. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Richardson the pass to DeBusher. Back to Richardson. Now the feed to Reed. Frazier outside. In the corner, it's Richardson. Shoots over Moncrief. Pass it to Houston. Shoots over Johnson. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to seven in the bucket from Houston. They're surprised he doesn't have more shot attempts. He's been accurate. You'd think he'd want to take control now with them behind. Pass to Moncrief. It's Allen on the win. 35 seconds left here on the third quarter. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And Dallin showing good recognition on that play to set up a teammate for the basket. Richardson outside. The pass to Frazier. Out to the right wing. And here's DeBusher. He has six. Stolen by Middleton. Last break, Milwaukee. Here's Allen. And it's Allen slamming it down. The correct decision by Middleton. Moving to his wide open teammate, Chris. A terrific passer off the wing. 12 through three quarters of play. Down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Bucks lead by 11. 
And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. Alan's here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. Was reviewing with his team in the huddle. Hey, we've got to keep working the game now. Let's get it inside 10. Don't keep firing. Run them off that line. Let's go, man. Let's go. Wanting to chip away at this lead. Wants his team, Greg, to guard the perimeter much more effectively. Yeah, and Kevin, that's where they're getting burned. They have to patrol that three-point line. But... And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. On the floor from Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. Robertson is out there with Allen. And then there's Antetokounmpo. Then it's Kareem, and it's Johnson in at the three slot. And this is what you want on both ends, to win the battle of effort. And that's exactly what you can control, right? Your desire, your hustle, your will to succeed. 17-foot shot on the way. Richardson, no luck. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. The Knicks making a switch here. Kings check in. Coming on to the floor for your New York Knicks. Bernard King. Allen outside. Launches it. Knicks with the rebound. Reed's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So awkward. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Garnett. Hey, Garnett may have lost a step in terms of quickness, but makes up for that with strength and body control. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Richardson with it, and Abdul Jabbar picks him up defensively. Here's King, and the layup fall. King's got 30. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Got a piece of it. Robertson left side. Garnett with the block. Here's King. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Another shot. That one a tad off line to the right, but drops in for him. King's got a bad down to within single digits with the Knicks. Robertson passes it throughout. Johnson with it. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Oh, good on that one. King, right side. And again, it's New York. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screen. Milwaukee with the ball. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Abdul Jabbar outside. Johnson kicks to Robertson. Shot clock at six. Allen for three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. And yeah, close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And it's slammed in by Garnett. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Johnson against King. Back to Allen. And the officials calling for a three-second violation. New York ball. And the Knicks with possession. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Beat down low. Looking out to Jabbar. And they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. Look at that 
Cole had come in later, it would have been Katie by the door. <laughs> Showing so much passion and determination here at the end. They're close to the lead, but still have plenty of work left to do. Here's Robertson. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the little. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. And we're going to look at how the also stat game has been going for New York. Great job by this team closing out, blocking a bunch of shots. They just make tremendous effort to the defensive team. One of the things that also strikes me is their activity, forcing turnovers, coming up with steals. It has really shaped the tenor of this game. Abdul Jabbar passes to Johnson, and here's Giannis. Out to the right wing from about 19 feet. Robertson's shot is off. And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. It's Richardson on the wing. Under the Kumbo defending. King against Johnson. Just fine on the clock. King, that's good. From that in-between page, they've been a much better team. Milwaukee's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And stolen by Richardson. And there's the drive. Oh! Oh, wow. oh and he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Bucks trail by four. Robertson outside. Allen finds Abdul Jabbar. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. New York's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. And King, here we go. It's good. King's got 41. And that's the explosive ability of King. He's going to go out there and attack, though. Always playing the game at four o'clock. Yeah, that's number five. Four. He is going to go. Ewing's got in for Reed. New York on D. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. With the teardrop, Allen's shot is up. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. King, the pass to Richardson. Five to shoot. Pass to Ewing. Fade away. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And now it's an eight point Knicks lead. Nice play. And you can see they're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. Here's Johnson and Drew Jabal trying to free himself up. The layup off target. Passes it to King. New York moving it around. Ewing right side. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Ewing's got the lead up to 10 now for New York. Well, we've seen that move a few times. That was an easy bucket in the paint. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn around. Well, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Ewing outside. Garnett in the post. Under the Kumbo defending. Here's Garrett. And there's another one for the Knicks. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. New York leading by 10. King with it. Drives to the hoop. Over Johnson. Rebound, Milwaukee. Abdul Jabbar's got his 16th rebound on the night. Allen for three. Here's Johnson. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Johnson's got four points now in the quarter. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half. And that's a great way to cut into the lead. Robertson against Richardson. 
There's Ewing. Hangs. Garnett trying to break loose. And Ewing with the nice inside button. Oh, how good is that? Use the rim to protect the ball. Perfect. And they're bringing you up close and personal of the AT&T 5G Slam game. Allen outside. Here's Abdul Jabbar. And that one is off. Great defense that time from Ewing. Here's King. And the Knicks hit again from deep. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Here's Robertson. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. It's on Patrick Ewing. And just able to score in so many ways. Robertson puts the defense there in an impossible situation. Two shots. First one falls for him. Von Grief, he's checked in for the Bucks. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Knicks leading by 11. Now Richardson, he feeds it to Garnett. On his 15th shot attempt, he makes his ninth basket. He's a healthy 60% tonight. Well, the fifth player in NBA history to have more than 50,000 minutes. KG still getting it done inside. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench. He'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. Frazier, he's checked in for the Knicks. Frazier. Oscar Robertson. At the line, two shots. Free throw drops for Robertson. And so he hits both. He's forcing the action now. Finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Frazier against Robertson. Here's Garnett. Good, and it's Frazier who picks up the assist. Frazier's got his eighth assist here tonight. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Timeout called the Bucks, And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Oscar Robertson. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team during the break. No surprise, he was not happy with the turnovers. He told them, we are giving this one away, guys. We've got to be more careful with the ball. Play within the offense and get good open shots. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. Frazier dishes to Garnett. Over onto Nakumbo, and again, it's New York. Just a knockdown shooter. Garnett so good with the ball. Onto Nakumbo against Garnett. Left block shot on the way. Bank shot, no good. New York leading by 13. Right through the knee for the win. King's got 46 points. Milwaukee's gone 4 3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Let's it go from the wing. Johnson can't get it to go. And Ewing has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. Gillen score the basket. His eight. Eight for 13 from the floor. Looking to close it out. That's what he said. Might have been the back break. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. The baseline jam. Ewing the pass to King. 
shoots over Johnson. And there's another one for the Knicks. And if ever there were a way to kick off the NBA Conference Finals, this is it. Going to be a table-setting victory here in Game 1 for the Knicks. This has got to feel good. I mean, they never counted themselves out when they were down earlier. And they not only muscled their way back into the game, but wow, they're in a position, shockingly, to win this one easily. It's all about the will to win. You have to admire the, the, the perseverance, never doubting one another, having that trust in your coaches. And, and I really like what we've seen here tonight. Boy, did they earn it. And they open these conference finals with a forceful performance to take the early lead in the series. Yeah, they, they talked about sending a message here in game one, and no doubt about it, they delivered that message loud and clear. It's obvious who has the upper hand going forward in this series. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Kevin Garnett. Well, you couldn't help but notice how well this guy protected the rim. There was an intimidation factor thanks to his defense. No easy shots in his neighborhood tonight. This is how you want to close things up. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Johnson surveying the floor. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So no problem for New York as they get the win. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You see how Kevin Hino momentum is so, so critical. And, and you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.
Change up, change up, stay far from around me. I came up, came up, who I was down with. You change up, change up, stay far from around me. Same squad, same squad, same squad. Drop top, coupe, dodge, rain drops.